Okay, Cancer, so my phone decided to die. I'm sorry about that. But let's continue into your current energies, okay? So there's a balancing act that you had. Well, well, well. There's a lot of movement. There's You're in your headspace a lot right now. You're in your headspace a lot right now. With this Eight of Swords, it's telling me that there's kind of like this self-victimization that you have with this, like, um, with kind of like what you're dealing with right now, okay? This, like, balancing act, okay? Like, kind of like your, your indecisiveness. You know, you could have heavy, like, air signs, because I do see a lot of movement here, okay? You're going into hermit mode, okay? To find that creativity. With that being said, ooh, there you go. There's the Queen of Pentacles. With the Queen of Pentacles, it's showing me here that you're going to be practical about it, okay? About those creature com the creature comforts. And you're finding security in, like, what what it what's benefiting you right now for the long run. Okay, let's clarify the Empress. With the Empress card, it is clarified by the key the knight of pentacles that is showing me that you have a lot of efficiency and hard work remember slow and steady wins the race okay could have been where you were kind of like dealing with it a lot so something could have happened with the tower moment it could have been like your finances are going to be um kind of you know you want to keep an eye on your finances okay when this tower moment does happen and you're going to know because there's going to be like that shift pattern that change Okay, with the Queen of Swords, you are reaping, uh, you are seeing your rewards, right? You are uh, having perseverance, okay, and that strength at the bottom of the deck. That was, like, really weird. I was, like, all into your energy, and then it went bloop. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, all right, so chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So either it's with a new person or a person from your past, okay? Take however it resonates. Honestly, I don't know if you guys live in Cali, but I do. We just had an earthquake, but that's like super normal to us. That's weird to say, right? <laughs> getting to know each other so it could be somebody that you know you're starting to get to know somebody new right um i also feel that it is kind of like um you're getting to know yourself as well as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so yeah this is um energy of like um kind of like new love right i'm not like really seeing it but like at the bottom of the deck it's hard to heart co felt conversations Can you guys see it I honestly feel like sometimes my camera zooms in and, and it's like super, super awesome. And then other times it's just like, no, not today. <laughs> so let's get some more wisdom oracles out here. Let's get some wisdom oracles actually. Okay, come to the edge. Courage, taking a leap of faith, okay? So I do see here that you are, oh, this is cute. Time for a nap. You want to rest, okay? You want to rest. I just feel like I have to take that out. <laughs> so this um, deck that I use is kind of like to give me a time frame, right? Uh, like a season or what's going on, right? Look at that. Bottom of the deck is winter. So this is going to be, I mean, winter's not that far from us right now just because like, I mean, look at how June is here now. It just seems like just yesterday we were in February, right? So boundaries, you're starting to set boundaries, okay? You're starting not to let people in your energy that much because you realize that it's kind of like distorting your energy and it's, you know, there you go, clear it up, right? Okay, and you're doing uh, a lot of alchemy, okay? You're you're doing um, herbal kits, right? And candles, you could be dealing with candle magic right now or you li do like candles and it kind of brings you kind of like that sense of awareness, right? But I definitely do see something big is going to happen in the winter. This tower moment might, might be coming for you. You don't ever know. Um, Energy is fluid, right? So your tower moment could happen tomorrow, okay? Uh, so what is what this is telling me, what the card is telling me, honestly, I'm gonna go back to this. What the card is telling me here, okay, um, Cancer, is that uh, you were kind of dormant for a good while, okay? Uh, you there's there's a lot of stuff that was building up, and it was kind of like freezing you. It was kind of like keeping you like stuck. But uh, this is the Watchtower of the North, okay? You could be living somewhere in like the Northern States or, you know, n Northern California. Take however it resonates, right? Okay. Let's get some Starseed Oracles out here for you. Honestly, I hope like I can merge the two videos for you together. If not, well, I'm about to find out if I can. <laughs> 
So, yeah. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Starseed Oracles. All right. So, surrender to the sweetness, okay? Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life, okay? I feel like this is heavy, like the Empress, right? You're in that feminine energy. You're going to... You're in that feminine energy and you're really going to be really seeing what you want. What you're going to be attracting is like a, that sweetness, right? It's that like, oh my God, it's so, it's like, I could feel it. Like I could taste honey. I could taste honey in my mouth. I don't know why. So inner earth, you'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. So I feel like spirit wants to tell you like because you're creating your own paradise here on earth or you're like heaven on earth you're going towards it right all i see here is like water something beautiful i feel like you're gonna go on vacation pretty soon everything is starting to open up open back up you know but we're still going to practice social distancing right cancer i hope so <laughs> so let's see these are messages let's get some messages from your person so honestly i do feel like um this feels like Italy. Like, do you see it? Do you see that cave and, like, do you see those places in the back? Dude, come on. I wish this would focus. Oh, yeah, okay. Wow. You see that place in the back? Oh, man. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to see the settings after this, after your reading. But it's been doing that a lot. Like, it doesn't auto-focus. Okay, so those are messages. That was a fat stack. Okay. You were the best thing in my life. I can't figure you out. Because you're changing. Because you're being somebody different. You're in your power now. I was so wrong. Yep. Are you happy? So you could be with somebody new, but this person from your past is honestly thinking like, are you happy? Or your current person, you know, cause you're kind of like always, you know, happy go lucky, but you were happy on your own, right? But you know, it could be like your current person um, is asking, are you happy? Or this bird is like just looking at me right now outside the window. <laughs> My mind and head always come back to you. Oh, heart. My mind and heart. Wow, I can't even read my own writing, you guys. I want to make some, make you some breakfast. So this could be from, like, your current energy that I'm feeling uh, with wh whomever you're with right now. This is weird. Like, it's, I don't know, like, it's, like, back and forth, back and forth. I honestly think that you are with, like, your person from the past, but it's kind of, like, they're trying to tell you something. Hold my hand. This, this person, like, I don't know if you know your love language, but they, they like to um, show, show like appreciation. You inspire me through action, okay? This is their love language, okay? And I feel like this is, um, your love language is kind of uh, different. You, wanna, you might wanna look into that, okay, um, Cancer? So this has been your reading for the end of June, 2020. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Stay positive, be positive, and you are positive, okay? Mwah.